Middle of the mall salespeople scare the crap out of me. It's the confidence I don't like. Hey, don't walk up on me all persnickety and such. I will not have such blatant interference of my personal space, okay? May this occurrence not happen a second time. Lest she be reprimanded. They freak me out. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I pass by this guy who was given massages with his elbow, okay? It looked nice. But I knew I didn't want one. I have things to do. I tried the old look down at my phone trick, okay? Didn't work. I walked right into his trap. Even before I get to the mall, before I even park my car, I know what I'm gonna say to people, okay? I knew he was gonna stop me. So I had I had a preset plan of what I was gonna say. No! Okay, that's all I had written down. He stops me, I immediately go into defense mode, okay? No, 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 He's not taking no for an answer. No, he's lotioning up his elbow, okay? <laughs> he's ready for me. I tried to be the bigger man, okay? I turned around and I said, I'm fine, thank you. But then he said something to me that I wasn't expecting. At this point now, he's just whittling his elbow to a sharp point, okay? He turns to me and he says, no, it's free. And I'm like, oh, wait, I didn't ask if it was free. <laughs> he got me by giving me an answer to a question I never even asked, okay? You can stop whittling that elbow now, sir. Not interested. No, I don't want your samurai elbow digging into my latissimus dorsi. There's no winning in that argument, okay? I already lost the argument the minute I woke up that morning, okay? He had a perfect comeback to everything I said. I think the worst one is when they try to hand you their business card and it works because you're stupid and you grab it and then you say, oh, this looks cool. What are you selling? Oh, a blow dryer. I love blow dryer. I wish I could afford a $180 hair dryer. Oh, don't worry. It's okay. I'll give you 97% off. Uh-oh. -uh. No. I think I've tried everything. I've literally said, hey, let me just go to the car, grab some cash. And they're like, here, take it and then come back with cash. And I'm like, <laughs> no, 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 cause that's stealing cause I wasn't gonna come back, but they know that, okay? They're always two steps ahead of you, okay? Two steps ahead of you just holding out a business card that you're gonna take cause you're stupid. You're so stupid! Why would you take the car? Hey bro, I love your shoes. No you don't. I don't need your insincere flattery, okay? I'm never ever gonna need Himalayan salt face cream from the Dead Sea, okay? I thought you were selling blow dryers. It's even worse if they hand you the product. I've just been taking my old business cards with me every time I go to the mall when I used to give guitar lessons. That way when they try to hand me their business card, I take it, give them my business card, now we're both in each other's debt and you're trying not to buy what I'm selling, which is nothing, but that momentarily confuses them so I can slip away and get caught by the massage guy. I've learned the hard way that you don't tell them, I'll think about it and then leave, okay? Cause you gotta come back by that way and you're not thinking about it, okay? But they are. But you're on your way back sucking down an orange Julius unbeknownst to you. He's already got your blow dryer face mask from the Himalayas in a bag with a receipt, hands it to you, and now either you steal or you got paid. And I feel pretty good about myself, okay? And you wanna know why? Because I did not get suckered into paying for an elaborate elbow escapade. But this Dead Sea scrub better work wonders, okay?